Okay, an update is myself, I'm a beginner and it's a new hobby. Now if you go back to the first video, I said the box was 21 centimetres squared, that's actually incorrect. The perspex top is 21 centimetres squared. The house is roughly 10, uh, 12 and a half centimetres by 10 centimetres. Now all these tubes and the central piece is all cardboard. This is naturally wood. The reason why they're not bamboo is you see a lot of those makeshift houses already made at a garden shop or a hardware store and they're bamboo and there's nothing wrong with bamboo but they're actually glued into the back which is no real purpose because you need to remove your leaf cutter bees. So this little central piece here, see I'm that's my hand, uh, actually would fit inside a toilet roll with quite a lot of room. Uh, there are 75 little bees in there. As I mentioned before, they've been in incubation. And um, so, another 7 to 10 days, as mentioned, they will hatch. And I do have a slow-mo option on my uh, cell phone. But, uh, yeah, I'm most likely be at work when this all happens. But uh, the beauty of having slow-mo is the female leaf cutters have a hairy chest and, and they collect their pollen and they take it into these little holes to feed their young. But prior to that, my roses are going to be absolutely monstered because they like to cut out roses and they'll carry, you will see them carry the rose petals in there and make their cocoon and they kind of come out like cigars. And so they'll hatch their larvae and there'll be a store of pollen but anyway, I'm just a beginner and it's going to be a great experience and keep watching.